Hey there everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. How are you on this Friday afternoon? Um, it's nice, it's not raining out, and it's not too hot out, so I think we are going to call that a win. I have so much stuff to share with you. I already had some goodies to share with you, and then when I got home last night, I had another box waiting for me. Um, so you get the advantage of seeing all those goodies as well. Um, I probably will have at least one, maybe two more boxes waiting for me tonight when I get home. And so whenever I get a chance to get those in, I will share those with you. But there's plenty to keep us occupied here this afternoon. Um, as usual, if you see something on here that you would like, um, you can just comment with the item name and sold. If you need me to ship it to you, we are still happy to do that. You can just comment ship. I would ask that if you comment on something that you want to purchase on the video today, that you either come by the store to pay and pick it up by the end of the weekend, or if you can't make it by, just give us a phone call and you can pay for it over the phone with a credit card. Um, otherwise, we're not, we may not be able to hold it for you if um, you don't do that. Some of these things we have limited quantities on and there may be other people that would like to purchase it. So if you can just do that for me, that would be helpful and we'll be able to go ahead and um, let you comment on the videos and let us know what you want to purchase. Um, so I have a lot of great new holiday goodies to show you, but before we get into that, I have just a few other things that I want to share with you. First of all, I want to let all you stamping fans know that we got in the latest issue of Rubber Stamp Madness. The cover on this one is absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful fall scene. I think that is really lovely. So um, we do have the latest one of those in. I also wanted to show you some new samples that Mana made this week. Um, these are for some products that we've had for varying amounts of time here in the store, and I thought it was time that they got a little bit of love. First of all, this is a relatively new arrival. This is part of the Pink Fresh release that we got in a couple of weeks ago, and a number of the stamps that we got in are their nesting pop-out stamps. This is the diamond, and I think you can see here it has a frame, and then all these individual pieces pop out, and the reason that that is important is it lets you create something fabulous like this where you can use all these different colors and you just put it in your stamping platform and you pop out some of the pieces that you're not going to um, ink up and that way you don't get the um, them contaminated with other colors and you do your stamping and then you pop them back in and you get a really amazing background like this. This one is the Nested Diamonds. We also have nested chevrons, uh, nested rainbow, uh, straight stripes, diagonal stripes, and sunburst. So definitely check them out. Um, I think that they're all around the same price. This is the nested diamond background, and it is $17.50. The next guy we've had for a little bit longer, this is a die from Cottage Cuts. And this is the gardening Tomty, and I looked that up, and a Tomty is basically a Swedish gnome, and you can see that that's exactly what this is here, and look how absolutely adorable he is when he is made up. I think that is so precious. The other thing that I like about it is that you could use all of these pieces individually if you wanted. So you could use that gnome by himself. You can even, you can see his arm separate, so you could change the positioning of his arm. You've got the flower pot, the wheelbarrow, the watering can, all of those pieces can be used separately or in conjunction with other products that you might own, as well as making this cute little gardening scene. The last one I want to show you, actually have, we have been had for quite a while, it is part of Tim's collection um, from last year, and this is one of his colorized dies, and this is Mr. Snowman, the colorized die, and he is so cute when he is made up. You can see here, you really don't need that many different colors. We used um, a white and then kind of this really, really pale gray, that's the tailored expression sea salt. Um, some reds and then blacks and you can see their golds and oranges and I love this background it uh, man made this it is super easy to do this is just a black card base with some white pigment ink just swiped across there and it makes this great snowy background so that is the mr. snowman die he is $20 and 
I don't think I mentioned, but this gardening gnome is $21.50. All right, so let's get into some of the new products. Some of these, some of you, if you've been in, may have seen them. We did get a shipment. I got it last week, but after I had already done the video, um, but we got some great new Sizzix dies in. We also got in some more of the speckled egg, and I do have some extras of a few of the products. I have an extra of the paint. This is in the flip top cap. I do have one speckled egg pen. I have the regular Distress ink pad, and I have the Distress oxide spray. So if you are wanting some of these speckled egg products, those are the ones that I do have extra that are in stock. Set those out of the way so I can show you. As I mentioned, we got some new Sizzix products in. Most of these are not Tim Holtz, they're by other designers. Um, Sizzix has a lot of other designers besides Tim, and they really do make a lot of really great products. This one I really like. This is the Botanical Envelope Liner Dye. It is $28, and basically what it lets you do is it lets you make liners for your envelopes. And this will fit both the A2 envelopes as well as the larger size envelopes. You can see that you get the piece that cuts out just the liner, and then you have these separate inserts that you can add in there that make these pretty lacy patterns. And then you also get these little corner dies so that if you want to add some extra embellishment to your envelopes, you can do that as well. I always think it is really nice when someone finishes off one, the inside of their card, and two, their envelope. Um, a lot of times I don't do that, and I th really think it is nice when you do, and this makes it really easy to make some really pretty envelope liners. That's the Botanical Envelope Liner die set. It is $28. This next one is the Delicate Leaves die set. It is $17.50, and you get dies for all of these different leaves. You can see that they are actually pretty good sized. And I have seen a really pretty sample where they use these to make a um, wreath, and they used it for some home, de a home decor item. They framed it, but you could also do it on a card. I also think this would be really stunning, um, just done, cut out in black and done on white. I think that could be really pretty as well. So, um, and they also make really great fillers, maybe with some other dyes, some other floral dyes you might have. Um, some of these kinds of things are really great fillers. This is the Delicate Leaves die, and it is $17.50. Um, next up, we do have one of Tim's new products. This is a new Impresslet. This is the Holly Berry Impresslet set. It is $12, and this is a combination 3D embossing folder and die cut. So it does both of those things at the same time. And these 3D dies, the detail on them is so amazing. Here I think you can see what this looks like. I wanted it to do it in gold, but I was all out of my gold paste. This is just on some black cardstock. I use some of my Creative Expressions gilding polish. This is the red bronze, and I colored it, and once it was dry, then I ran it through and it die cut and embossed all at the same time. Amazing, amazing detail on that. We also have just a 3D embossing folder from Sizzix. This one is the Starfall 3D embossing folder, and it is $10.50. And there you can see, in fact, it is the stars. What I really like about this one is at one end, they are more closely spaced together, and then they get further and further apart as it goes out. So I think that is a really nice effect. And here is a sample of this that I made. You can see there how it changes as it goes down. And you could, I mean, Starfall, probably you would have it go that way, but you could certainly have it go this way as well if you wanted to. Once again, this is just on some regular black cardstock, and I used my um, Pearl Luster gilding polish to color that before I ran it through. I knew from past experience that if I use that on black, it gives me a very pale silver color, which I thought would be pretty with this embossing folder. So that is the Starfall 3D embossing folder, and it is $10.50. 
We did get another um, Tim die in. This is one of his Biggs dies from the Chapter 3 release. This one is called Festivities. And this is pretty basic, but I think you could do a lot of things with it. You can see here you get the poinsettia flower. You get um, the little kind of stamens that go in the center. You get um, the leaf, and then you also get a pine branch. And because this is a big die, you can use it to cut out a lot heavier materials, some heavyweight felt, multiple layers of cardstock, chipboard, those types of things that you can't do with the thin chemical dies. This is the festivities die, and it is $20. Now we have a couple of new Sizzix um, Halloween dies, and I think these are really fun if you like to do Halloween crafts. The first one that we have is the Spooky Silhouettes, and it's a little bit difficult to tell from here, but this die actually lets you make a box. So if you see back here, you can see that you have pieces to actually make a box and then you have these different things that you can cut out um, of the top of the box if you want. You can see that there is the spider web and there is the jack-o'-lantern there. I think you can see a little bit better what you get in here. And then you also get these other elements. You get the black cat, you get the spider, you get some bats, and you get a witch's hat. So this would be really cute to make a fun Halloween treat box. Um, if you back that with some acetate, then you can see through to the goodies that are on the inside. This die is a little more expensive, but you do get a lot of pieces with this. And of course, you don't have to use it to make a box if you don't want to. You can just use those pieces flat. And um, you could also um, probably just make a box and use it for other things as well. And then you have all the additional icons to use. That is the Spooky, spooky Silhouette Box Die, and it is $31. The next one is another really fun set. This is the Haunted Hills die. It is also $31. And again, you get a lot of pieces. You can see that you actually get the circle die that cuts the circle opening there. You get the um, hill with the haunted house on it, the path going up to it. Here, this one I think is the little, um, a little cemetery scene right there. You can see it. You have this other piece here that has the tree branch and such on it. And then you also get more trees and you get little, lots of little pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and things that go with it. There's also a die with some bats on it. So this lets you make a really fun silhouette scene. This might be fun to make a shaker card with. Lots and lots of elements in here that you can use together or separately. This is the Haunted Hills die, and it is $31. The last die that we have from Sizzix may be my favorite one. This one is the Winter Scene box die, and it is also $31. And you get all the pieces that let you make this little 3D box. It's an octagon box, so it is a different shape and you get the pieces to let you make the box. But then you get also the pieces here to do the mountains in the background. You have all the little trees and the bears. Um, you actually get a um, number die set with it here. Look at that cute little bear there. Um, and I just love the fact that you can make this into a little 3D scene. I'm sure that you probably have lots of other things. Um, yes, Penny, I do have you down for this one already. Um, I think you could put a lot of other things in this here if you wanted to. Some of your little lawn fawn um, sets would work great in here. Um, I think lots of other things you could make fun little scenes in this little box. So this is the winter scene box die, and it is $31. All right, um, this last die is kind of a standalone die. This is from Find It Trading Company, and this is the bow border die. And it does exactly what it says, is it cuts out this piece that has this beautiful bow border on it. Um, so 
intricate. I think this would be great for holiday cards, but I think that you could also use it for birthdays or weddings or anniversaries or something like that if you change up the colors. And what I like about this is pretty much you can use this on your card and maybe add a sentiment on there and you're done. You don't need to do anything else. Use some pretty papers um, with it, some foil or glitter papers, and boom, you're done. This is the bow border die, and it is $13.50. Um, speaking of using it with pretty papers, we are ready to move on to our next group of products, and this is the new holiday release from Memory Box and Poppy Stamps. So many really great things in this release, and I do have a few restocks that I have thrown in here and there, so I'll point those out to you, but most of this is their new holiday release. Um, part of what they have are some great new papers. We've had some of their um, six by six paper packs before. They've had specialty papers like glitter papers, pattern papers, and they are really great. I'm gonna tell you up front that there are some additional papers in this release and I think that they ended up having to ship my shipment in two boxes and this box came but I think the other box is probably going to arrive today later today and it has the rest of my paper so if you've checked out the release um, and when you see some of these samples there are some other papers um, in the release and we do have them coming but the first thing I want to show you is a new um, 6x6 pad this is their polished foil paper. It is um, 24 single-sided sheets, and it is $11. And I just went ahead and opened one because I know the front shows you the colors, but these really are metallic papers. See there, you can see the reflection in there. These are actually a little bit um, lighter weight um, than the metallic papers that we carry in the eight and a half by 11, which I think will be nice for die cutting. And of course, the other thing that's nice is you get all of these different colors. It looks like there's 12 colors. And so you get two of each of those colors in here. And they really are really nice, beautiful, shiny foil papers. Um, some other new papers from this release are some new glitter papers. And this first one is the Holiday Glitter, and it is, again, six by six, and these are the colors that you get in it. Great holiday colors, although I like the fact that they have the blue in there for kind of more winter scenes. And I just want to show you that these really are really beautiful, shiny glitter papers in here. So this is the Holiday Glitter Pad, and this is $11. Um, all right, so the next one that we have is another new glitter pad, and this is the Frosted Glitter Pad, and it is also $11. And I think this one would actually be great if you look at some of these colors for Halloween. You can see that there's some black in here. We have some orange, the lime green, and the purples. So I think this one would actually make a great pad for Halloween, and again, these are nice glitter papers in here. That is the frosted glitter pad, and it is $11. I did get back in um, this one here, which is the Twinkling Jewel glitter pad. Um, this came out a little bit earlier in the year, also $11, and it just has some different colors in it. I like this one has the yellow and, in it. Um, and kind of the goldenrod color. So um, right now we have the three different um, glitter pads from Memory Box in stock. All right, um, this one is a restock item. This is one of the Memory Box um, 3D embossing folders. This is the Floral Corner. This one was very, very popular, um, I think because those to me look like they are sunflowers. And of course we love our sunflowers around this part of the country and I like that dot background in the back. So this is the Floral Corner 3D embossing folder. It is $8 and I do have some samples that I'll show you when we get to the end so you can see a little bit better what that one looks like. Next up are a couple of dies that are not from the new release. I'm not sure I've had them before. These were a special order for someone and I have some extras. I think you could actually make great use of these on your holiday cards, both um, Halloween and Christmas. 
Um, these are both just frame dies. This one is the Stylish Rectangle Trio Die. It is $26, and you can see that you get three different frame dies in here of different sizes, and these are just really fun. Um, cuts out thin. I think these would be great to cut out of their foil papers. Um, would make some really fun frames or out of the glitter paper. This one is the Stylish Rectangle Trio. It is 26 and this one is very similar, but it is um, a different shape. This is the Geodesic Oval Trio die. It is $28, and you can see once again, you get these three different frame dies in this set. All right, um, now on to mostly new products from the holiday release. First up, we have a couple of new 3D embossing folders. This one is called Magnificent Poinsettia, and it really is beautiful. And again, I will have some samples that I will show to you. And this one, I love this one. This one is the Snowy Forest 3D embossing folder. You can see we've got the pine trees, the birch trees, and the snow falling gently. So many fun things you could add, the, add to this to make a really great scene. This is the Snowy Forest 3D embossing folder. It is also $8. All right, next up we have some great things. They would be great for your Christmas cards, but also just for some great winter cards. Um, and the first one we have is called the Pointy Pine Needle Sprigs. And you can see, and remember, I know it's hard to tell, um, looking at a picture, I'll try and put my thumb in there for a little bit of scale. Um, one thing I like that the packages for all the memory box and poppy stamps products, the, um, the image on the front is actual size. So that is telling, you can tell exactly what size it is. They do always give you measurements on the back. Um, but that is helpful to know the actual size. These again, useful for so many things. Tucking in, there is a sample using these that I adore, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is the pointy pine needle sprigs, and that set of the two sprigs is $12. This next one is the pointed pine needle frame. And this has a pretty rectangular frame with some nice detail on it. And then it just has one of the pine sprigs coming up from the corner. There's some really great samples where they use some of their new papers. Um, some of the ones that I didn't show you today, hopefully they'll be waiting for me at home tonight, and just did some really simple cards with some of those papers and this die that I think would be a great way to do some really fast and easy cards. But this one is the pointed pine needle frame and it is $16. One thing I want to point out, Memory Box has gotten really good about having samples for almost all of their products up on their website. You can always go to their website and look it up. But they also have the QR codes on the back of the package. And if you have a smartphone, all you need to do is install a QR code reader. There's lots and lots of them available out there for free. And you can use that, just point your uh, camera at this, and it will take you right to the web page where it shows you the sample. So when you're in the store and see this on the back of some of their products, just pull your phone out, and that's a quick and easy way to get to see some samples for it. So um, as I mentioned, this is the pointed pine needle frame, and it is $16. This next one you're going to see we have a theme going on here, but these all would work so well together, is the Forest Pine Branch die. This die is $18, and this is pretty good size, so this would really fill up your card front, and you can see that it is just a branch with some pine sprigs. I think if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it fuller, you could totally add some of the pine sprigs from this set onto here as well. But this is the Forest Pine Branch die. It is $18. And finally, to go along with all of these pine branches, we have this new die, which is the Pine Cone Stackers die. It is $16. And you get, I think, a total of 19 pieces out of this, if I recall. You have enough to make two... Um, different sizes of pine cones and you can see each one of these is a different layer so it really makes it dimensional 
and then you also have these other little pieces that you can add on there to add even more dimension if you want to. Um, works great with all of these other pines that we saw, and I'll show you some samples in a minute. This is the pine cone stackers die, and it is $16. Next up, we have a set of pine tree collage dies, and Memory Box has had these before. They are a set usually of four dies, usually of trees that are in different sizes, and they are made so that they all layer together. Um, if you separate them with foam tape, you get a really beautiful dimensional look. Mana is working on finishing up a sample for you right now, so hopefully before we're done here today, I'll have that. I can show that to you because I know seeing an actual sample as opposed to a picture is really nice. So this is the smallest um, of the four dies. This is the small pine tree collage. It is $12, and this just point out all of these dies do not cut the outer rectangle. They just cut this inner oval and whatever is inside of that oval. So you can place them on whatever size project you want and cut them out. Um, another thing that's really nice, and you'll see some samples of these, is even though these four dies are made to all work together and they look fabulous when you use them together, if you use them, you can also use them all individually and get some really nice projects. So if one, if you don't um, want to spend all that money right now for all four of them, you can still make use of the individual pieces. And even if you do get all four of them, keep in mind you don't always have to use them all together. You can use them singly or only use a couple of them together if you want. So this is the first and smallest layer of the small pine tree collage. It is $12. The second layer is a little bit bigger and adds some additional pine trees. This is the tall fir collage. And I think you'll see with them side by side how that one has a bigger opening. So this would be your back layer. And then they you put the bigger layers on top. This is the tall fur collage, and it is $17. The next layer has our pine trees coming in from the side. It has this beautiful lamppost. Makes me think of the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. You can see we've even got a little cloud up there in the sky. This is the Lamplight Tree Collage die, and it is $21. It is the third largest in the set of four. And then finally, we have the Evergreen Sky Collage. This one is the largest. It goes on top. It has the pine trees on the side and then some more clouds in the sky. This one is the Evergreen Sky Collage, and it is $24. All right, next we're going to go on to some dies that, once again, um, are designed to work together, but you can also use them separately. Um, these create fun little snow globes, and this is the first one. This one is kind of the base one. This is the Snow Globe Backer Die. This set is $24. And it consists of this snow globe piece here. And you can see those lines on here. And we haven't done a sample yet, but I'm pretty sure what these do is these score and it allow, allows you to accordion fold this piece. And then we the next pieces that I'm going to show you, um, you can put them on top of that accordion fold for the front of your snow globe, and it gives you a dimensional scene. Then you also get these cute little critters in here. You get the little bear the penguin and the deer. And so you can put those in your snow globe or use them on other projects as well. Um, this one is the snow globe backer die and it is $24. Next up we have the snowman snow globe and you can see that this has the same shape as the backer and it has a single score down here so that you have the piece that you can fold under and attach to your backer die and then you'll have the accordion fold in between them, so it will give you some great dimension. Um, you could probably even use some acetate um, or uh, put little hills or do other things to glue pieces to the accordion fold so that you get some really great dimension and different layers in here. This one has the pine trees, the slope with the pine trees, the cloud up here in the sky. Um, which looks like that does cut out a completely separate piece. And then you get these little snowmen that you can use to decorate your scene. This is the Snowman Snow Globe die, and that is $19. 
The next one that works with the Snow Globe backer is the Radiant Snow Globe. It is also $19. And this one, you get this beautiful scene here with these sun rays. That kind of does the stitched lines into there. You have another cloud and you have some more trees in here. Again, you can use this with the Snow Globe backer, but you can also use these on their own. If you want to, this is the Radiant Snow Globe and it is $19. And last but not least is the Cabin Snow Globe. It is also $19. Again, your basic snow globe shape that has the pine trees, but then you also get this cute little cabin with the smoke coming out of the chimney, as well as Santa and his reindeer. And keep in mind, that house and that Santa and reindeer can totally be used on other projects and don't have to be used with the snow globe at all if you don't want to. This is the co uh, Cabin Snow Globe die, and it is $19. All right, let me see. I think I'm going to work from up here. And, oh, man has got her card finished. Let me grab that and show it to you. So this is going back with these collage dies right here. And here is her sample. So she has used all four of the dies. She has just cut them out of different colors of gray paper. Um, spattered them. I think that's, it's hard to tell in here, but I think that's metallic ink to make it look like it is snowing out. Did a little bit of ink blending in the background for that pretty background and the lamp um, light coming out of there. And then just layer it all together with some foam tape and you have a beautiful scene. So that is what you get if you use all four layers of that collage die together really amazing. You can see how you get great depth and dimension with this. But again, I will show you some samples online where you can see using any of those dies individually um, and see that they're really pretty that way as well. All right, back to our regular scheduled programming. Um, next we have the Vintage Sled Die. This die set is only $8 and I hesitated on this one. We had a really great sled from Tailored Expressions last year, but this one I think is smaller and it's always good to have different scales of things. I like it because you get a die that does the base of the sled and then you get the individual pieces for the slats and also for the, the bars up here. So that is the Vintage Sled Die. It is $8. I know Hope, it's like, what are you gonna do? Um, and yeah, this one is an inch wide by two and a half inches tall. So it is a really nice medium sized little sled. Next up is a really a pretty simple die, but I'm going to show you a really pretty sample um, with it. This one is the single pine landscape frame die. It is $21 and this is just a um, nice rectangular frame. It is in the landscape orientation. It has the snowy hill, and then it has this tree. And I kind of want to point out, this I think is actually all cuts out a single piece, and all that detail on the tree there is from embossing. If you look, if you learn how to read the memory box um, images, if it has a solid black line, that means it's a cut line. But if you can see here how these are kind of shaded in gray, that means those are just embossed. So works great, especially if you have a rubber embossing mat for your die cut machine. You can really get some great embossing on there and give a lot of dimension. So that is the Single Pine Landscape Frame Die. It is $21. Next up, we have just a Merry Christmas die. I really like this one. I like the mix of fonts. I like kind of the solid line under the word Christmas there. This one is called Special Merry Christmas, and it is just $7.50 for this die. All right, next we have some, to round out Memory Box, we have some special dies from them that are stitching. And you may be thinking, I am not a sewer. I don't want to do this, but this I would equate a lot of these more to the cards that you may have had when you were a kid that you did the shoelaces through the holes. And when you see these dies, until you see the samples, you're probably going to be thinking ho-hum, but I think when you see all the great things you can do with them, it will maybe change your mind on things. So this first one is the Stitched Tree Die. It is $12, and all this die does is does 
uh, cuts all these holes for you. It doesn't cut out a rectangle, place it anywhere you want on your project, and it cuts out these holes, and then you can do some stitching with them. And again, wait till you see some of the samples, and I think it will really open your eyes up to the possibility of these. So this one is the Stitch Tree Die. It is $12. Next up, we have the Stitched Burst Die, and it is also $12. And again, it just cuts out the holes for you. And last but not least, we have the Stitch Circles. And this one may have you puzzling over it the most but it is pretty amazing once you see some samples done up this one is the stitch circle and it is um, bigger so it is $21 and finally to round out memory box we have some new plush dies from them they have had these before in the past and these again are designed for stitching but they're especially great if you cut them out of lightweight felt or fabric and you can cut out two pieces and you use these holes along the edge to guide your stitching to stitch your pieces together and then you stuff them with some fiber fill and you can have a really cute little plush ornament. This is the snowman. You get his body as well as the pieces to do his scarf and his eyes and his nose. That is the plush hugging snowman die and he is $24. And then we also have the plush big penguin die. This die is $23.50. And again, you can see it does the stitching holes for you, plus you get the die so you can do his body and his face. All right, just a little bit to go before we look at samples. We have some new products from Poppy Stamps as well. The first one is not new. Um, I did need to do a reorder for this for someone, and so I have an extra one here. This is a clear stamp set. This is their Whittle Love. If you recall, they have all the cute little Whittle creatures, and these are some great little puns that work with those. Sending hedge hugs that go with the hedgehog, your panda tastic for the panda bear, also your the berry, berry best. I love you, your personality for the cat. Um, so these are great, some great little punny sentiments. I would also point out that even if you don't have the Whittle Critters, um, chances are you maybe have another hedge hug or cat stamp or die, and these are great little punny sentiments. To work with those, this is the Whittle Love Clear Stamp Set, and it is $15. All right, on to some new dies from Poppy Stamps. We have another Merry Christmas die. This one is the Holly Merry Christmas it is $7.50. One of the things I particularly like about this one is the Mary has the outline font there and it allows you to cut it out twice and inlay in those letters. And I will show you a sample. I think they use some of the glitter paper and inlaid and it is really pretty. And at only $7.50, it's always good to have another Merry Christmas die in your stash. This next one is really interesting, and it may be a little tough to figure out from the picture, but I think when you see samples, you'll understand. This one is called the Lamplight Pathway, and it is $16. And this one cuts out the rectangular frame, but you can see all those solid lines. It cuts those pieces, so it cuts that path out, and it also cuts out this great street lamp. And so you can use that on its own. You can cut out of different kinds of paper and do some paper piecing. Um, lots of really fun things you can do with this one. Um, this is the Lamplight Pathway and it is $16. This next one is basics, but you can never have too many evergreen trees. And this is a nice one. It is the Evergreen Trio die set. It is $8.50. You get the three different sizes of evergreens, and these would be great in your snow globe. You could add extra trees into your collage if you wanted to, add extra ones into your single pine landscape frame, and so make it so it's not a single pine anymore. And just for an idea, the smallest one of these is just over an inch tall, and the largest one is just over two and a half inches tall, so a good range of sizes. That is the Evergreen Trio die set, and it is $8.50.
Next up, we have a couple of stained glass dies from Poppy Stamps. The first one is the Stained Glass Angel, and it is $16. You can see the angel there in front of kind of the sunburst, and it does have a stained glass look to it. That is the Stained Glass Angel for $16. And then there is the stained glass poinsettia die. That one is also 16. And again, the pretty poinsettia flower um, in front of the sunburst. And you'll notice that those interior petals actually come out, which means that you can do them out of a different color or do a different treatment on them and piece them back in and get a really nice layered look with this. That is the stained glass poinsettia for $16. All right, just two more, and then we'll go to some samples. I told you I had a lot today. Um, we have two new um, pop-up easel dies from Poppy Stamps. The first one is a birdhouse pop-up easel. And here you can see it's very cute, but it just you can just see flat. But if I turn this over, you can see the picture on the back. You get everything you need to make this um, fun pop-up card. So you get all of the pieces that you need to let you do that. So you can totally make this pop-up card. If you don't want to make a pop-up card, you can just use the birdhouse and use it on um, any other card that you might want. So this is the birdhouse pop-up easel set. It is $33. And to go along with that one, we have the winter house pop-up easel set. This has this amazing house. It has all this detail. Look at the detail from the doors and the windows. You've got the snow on the window ledges and over the front porch. And on top of that, this also makes a pop-up easel card. But again, if you want to use the house just on its own without making a pop-up card, you can totally do that. This is the Winter House pop-up easel set and it is also $33. All right, let me pull my tablet over here and let me show you some samples because samples make a difference, I know. All right, let's see if we can get rid of the overhead light glare here a little bit. All right, so here is the plush hugging snowman all made up, he is adorable. And here is that plush penguin, so cute. And I will tell you this, I have learned from these plush that when you see them in real life and in three dimensions, they are so much cuter than they do look in these flat pictures. All right, so this is our stitched circle die. And let me show you what you can do with this. Look at this beautiful wreath that they've made just by using embroidery floss and using the holes in those two circles to do this um, crisscross back and forth pattern and make this great wreath, glued some sequins on and a sentiment, and there you go. But you can also stitch a different pattern and get a completely different look with it. So this is one of those things that I think you just really have to play around and try different stitching things with because I think they are so much fun. All right, next up we have the tree, and this one is similar. Here they just stitched between, in each of the sections, between the top and the bottom holes and added some sequins, and you get that cute little Christmas tree. But here they did something totally different. They went zigzag from side to side. They probably didn't even use all of the holes and got a completely different look with it. And finally, this is the stitched burst die. And look at this great star effect. And here on this one, you can see they've used some of their new glitter papers. And that outline, I think, is some of their new foil paper. So much fun. But once again, here, by just changing up how you do the stitching, you can get a totally different look. So. If you like to do stitching at all, any kind of needlework, I think these are so much fun. Next up is the Single Pine Landscape. And this card, I think, is so simple, but so beautiful. It looks like maybe a watercolor or probably ink blended background, um, a little bit of spatter for some snow, 
and the word peace white embossed on there and if you look closely at that tree you can see there that embossed detail that you get to give all that dimension on it all right so next up we have our pine branch and this one actually is the pine branch and the pine cone stackers i love 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 the different color scheme on this the white with the turquoise you can see there how dimensional those pine cones are looks like we've also got the special merry christmas die on there um, i think that plaid paper in the background is some of their new papers that as i mentioned hopefully i will have those um, and have them in here tomorrow because i know that they have a new um, plaid paper in there and see if i can go through here you can see with a plaid paper and there's a close-up and they're a completely different look on that. Looks like they've used some uh, gold glitter paper to cut out the pine branches. So um, really, really gorgeous. Love both of those. All right. So the next one we have is the pointed pine needle frame. And here is a sample. Again, they've used some of those plaid papers, some glitter paper for the frame and one of those pine cones. Really simple, but really, really beautiful. And here is a completely different look where they um, added some holly to that frame. All right, I mentioned this is the Pine Sprigs die. And of course, one of the things you can do is you can add it in. Here is one of those collage layers. You can add it and tuck it in. But I mentioned that there was a card that I loved, and it is this card right here. They have used those Pine Sprigs to make this wreath. I love how they've done the green ink blending behind it because it's just white on white, but that makes them stand out, and then added the pine cones on there. I think that is a stunning card, and, and truthfully, that's why I ordered that die, because I like that card so, so much. All right, next up we have, um, this is our Snow Glow backers, and actually here I wanted to show you, they just used the little bear, and that is that snowy forest embossing folder super easy some ink blending um added that little bear on there and away we go um let's go on and show you next up is the um snowman snow globe craft die and here you don't have to use this with the backer die if you want here they've just used this one by itself and used it on a flat card but here, and it's a little bit tough to tell since we can't, but here you can see how that really is, I think, dimensional. You can see I talked about that accordion fold to give dimension. So here they used it with the backer to actually make the little snow globe. And of course, you could totally use acetate somewhere in here if you wanted to and make this a shaker snow globe. This one is the radiant snow globe. And once again, you can totally use it and make a dimensional snow globe. But even if you don't, if you just use it flat, it makes a really stunning image. I love that sun ray background. I think that is really pretty. Sorry, finger hit the wrong button. All right, next up we have the cabin snow globe die. And again, they've used parts of it in here. But here they have just used the Santa Claus and here they have just used the cabin along with one of those collage dies so um, love it when you have pieces that you can combine with other things that you have um, makes them extra useful here is our little vintage sled and this just gives you a little bit of an idea of scale here it is just on a card um, with that pretty buffalo plaid background and the big mary and um, easy and fast to do all right, so again, you can totally do this and layer all your layers up and have something absolutely gorgeous. But as I showed you, this is just a single layer. That is the Evergreen Sky Collage, which is the largest of the three collage dies. Here is a sample with the Lamplight Tree Collage. Just done that as a single layer. And we saw this one, which is using the tall fur collage as a single layer. 
and then the smallest tree. And this one, they don't have a single layer, but you could totally do the same thing with that as a, in addition to using it with all the other layers. Here, I just wanted to give you a quick peek at what this embossing folder looks like when it's done up. So a great background to add lots of other things. You could probably even use this one maybe with some of the tree collage dies. And here you can see this beautiful 3D poinsettia folder. And let's go on. We already showed you some of the foil paper, and some of the glitter paper. So let's go on to poppy stamps. Here is the stained glass angel. And because all those pieces come out, you can um, cut them out of different colors, different types of paper, or cut them and ink them and pop them back in. Here is the lamplight pathway. And you can see here how they have cut the different pieces out of different papers um, over here on the sides the snow is out of some glitter paper that lamp post i think is out of some foil paper then they've done some ink blending on the background but you also don't have to cut them out of different papers you can just cut them out and take your pieces apart and do some great ink blending on them to get a really pretty look as well this one right here just shows you a simple way where they've used all three of the Evergreen Trio um, dies on here with a simple sentiment and some pretty papers. Here is the stained glass poinsettia. So you can see how those petals pop out so you can take them out and color them and then pop them back in. And here is the Holly Merry Christmas. Remember I told you here they've cut it out of gold glitter paper, but then also out of red and popped those red letters in there. And that really makes that stand out. Here is another picture you can see of the um, pop-up easel card. This is the Winter House. And this is the pop-up easel birdhouse. Um, just a few things to show you, going back to if you can remember the things I showed you at the beginning. This was the holly berry and presslets, and while it may have looked pretty, you may have wondered how you could use it. Well, here is a card sample where they have just used that as a trim on here. You can see how pretty it is done out of the gold. And here is the festivities, the big poinsettia, you can see here done out of felt and used in an embroidery hoop to make this pretty wall hanging. Here it is on a pillow with the Biggs pine cone, which I do still have in stock. I think I'm out of this, um, the foliage stems, but it's certainly something I could order back in. And those three together all um, are really beautiful. Also wanted to show you here, this is the geodesic oval trio. So you can see how that makes a fun frame for different projects. Um, this is the floral corner embossing folder and this is the stylish rectangle frames here so you can see just a fun frame for different projects all right we have gone quite a bit longer than we usually do because we had so much to show you but i think that does it for now go back and watch it again um, you can check out the Memory Box and Poppy Stamps websites. All of the new products are listed on there if you want to go have a closer look. And just let us know if there's anything that you would like. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.